Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel AVME. In today's video, I'm gonna review about uh, BC Master 1080p dash cam. Now this camera was sent to me via uh, BC Master to review and test. Uh, so what I'll do is uh, basically I'll go with the main specification of this camera, then I'll install it and at the end of the video, I'll leave uh, a review footage like I would capture it in day and night time uh, for, for reference for you guys. All right, so let's start with the specification of this camera. Okay guys, uh, as you can see, the model number of uh, this camera is basically 1080p car dash camcorder. Now they have another variant in it, uh, which has got a different model number that has got a built-in GPS. This model hasn't got the built-in GPS. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go with the main specification of this camera. Uh, now, uh, it has a central processing unit, which is called NT96655. Uh, you can search on net what it is. Uh, the main thing is the sensor. Now, the sensor installed is the Sony IMX323, which is a good sensor. And uh, if you can see, the LCD screen is large enough. It's 2.0 inches wide angle lens, which is 170 degree wide. Uh, so I believe it's a fish eye lens and it's a wide angle lens. Uh, so lens resolution is uh, 1080p, uh, which is full HD and then <clears throat> it lowers down to 720p at 60 uh, frames per second and uh, uh, lower resolutions are supported as well. Uh, sound recording is RTP on and off self setting. Okay, so the video recording is uh, auto looping. Uh, so once uh, your SD card finishes, uh, it's gonna start from the beginning. Image format is JPEG, G sensor inbuilt, low, middle, high sensitivity. Uh, so it has uh, a G sensor built in. Uh, that means it should have some kind of parking mode ability as well. So if your car is stationary and some hits your car it would start uh, recording right away uh, or what it would do if you're driving the car uh, then it would detect the other cars or any other objects near your car uh, and inform you uh, okay record mode is video recording emergency recording motion detection uh, so I believe emergency recording is uh, or motion detection is basically the parking mode. Uh, exposure value, uh, as you can see, all the exposure values are there. And uh, micro SD cards are supported up to 128 gig. Uh, and uh, input is DC 5 volt, 1 ampere, 2 ampere via mini USB. And uh, that's it. Uh, so what are the package content uh, I would find in the box? Uh, so I would uh, find uh, uh, BC Master, the 1080p dash cam, dual port USB card charger, and uh, the USB cable is four meter, uh, sticker mount or in the suction, suction cup. So it comes both with sticker mount and suction cup. And uh, a two by three uh, a millimeter adhesive and uh, the three cable clips. Uh, so that's what's inside the box guys and uh, uh, next I'll do a little unboxing and the installation and uh, uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, uh, so uh, let's go and uh, let's just unbox. So and uh, after that we'll do the installation. So let me just uh, unbox this. And let's find out what the build quality is like and all that. Okay. I mean, packaging so far is good. And uh, this is the main product, the camera itself. So let's just check the build quality of it. We'll put the box aside for time being. 
all right so guys have a look this is the camera right here and uh, this is the back side of the camera or uh, basically the touch screen side there are a few buttons first one from the right is okay next one is to go down third one is to go up and uh, this is another button which uh, I'll switch on and find out what it is okay so let's just peel off the stickers from the lens and let's peel off the sticker from LCD screen now uh, this is very lightweight I can already tell and uh, obviously the build quality is uh, all plastic there is uh, nothing out of uh, standard uh, for the build quality for this camera but all it matters is what kind of chips are installed inside and uh, obviously it has got a Sony sensor uh, for the camera uh, so that's a plus uh, there are four buttons uh, to operate uh, on the front side uh, I mean the LCD side and uh, on the top uh, you've got few uh, ports uh, this is the USB port right here uh, to basically charge your camera uh, via the lighter uh, uh, compartment in your car and uh, I don't know what this is this is the AV out uh, but then we'll find out what this port is uh, once I'll open up the manual and this is basically the SD card slot so we will place an SD card here and uh, to mount it uh, with the uh, with the holder this is uh, the ho housing right here all right guys uh, as I said uh, the build quality is all right it's all plastic and it's very lightweight but all it depends what's inside what kind of components and lens they are using uh, so we will find out once uh, obviously we'll capture the uh, video okay so let's see the other components other accessories inside the box all right so inside the box there is another box and uh, obviously this is the manual and uh, this is I believe this is the warranty card and uh, the warranty in UK is basically if it's faulty uh, then return your item to Amazon within 30 days uh, and I believe uh, the actual warranty with the manufacturer is 24 months. So if the camera goes uh, faulty or anything goes faulty, you can send it to manufacturer for replacement or uh, repairs. Uh, and that's for 24 months. So you can send it back to BC Master. Okay. And uh, this is the manual, which I'm going to open up shortly. Okay. So let's open up the accessory box okay what's the all right so there are 3m cable ties here right here this is basically okay so this is this is the holder if you want to stick it to your windshield this is the lighter car lighter adapter with USB all right so they have provided this tool to tuck in the wire and stuff which is good all right so nice lengthy cable now the cable quality is good uh, I mean by holding the cable I can already tell that it's a good gauge cable it's not some cheap cable they have used it's it's a if you look at the thickness it's it's a good gauge cable all right and uh, have a look at the USB cable right here and uh, this is the adapter so the camera basically requires two ampere and they have hardwired it in here uh, but if you want to charge your other devices there are three ampere 
two USB ports, three ampere each. Uh, so that means they're gonna provide fast charging for your devices. Okay, so what I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna install right here. There we go. And let's see what else is inside the box. Okay, so this is the suction cup. And this is what I'm gonna use today to install this camera. So suction cup, obviously, as I said, it's not one of the best I've seen for dash cams, uh, but uh, for the price point, I mean, this camera retails between 35 pounds to 50 pounds on Amazon, uh, depends. Uh, on the inflation and and uh, the demand and uh, uh, but that's that's the price I've seen for this camera on Amazon uh, so for the price point it's okay as I said all it matters what components are inside the camera and what sensor they're using so they're using Sony sensor but we have to verify the image quality the video quality after capturing it okay so I'm just gonna install this now so there's nothing else in the box there are a few 3m stickers and stuff so I'm not gonna need those okay so now let's just install the camera so now guys one more thing I want to mention is uh, in UK the law is the camera should be basically outside your line of sight so when you're driving right here it shouldn't be installed anywhere here 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 and as a rule of thumb it's best if you can install the camera behind the rear view mirror so if you can install it or like right here or right here that's fine i mean where my previous camera is installed that's fine as well as long the screen is switched off so while you're driving the screen shouldn't be switched on and obviously this is out uh out of my line of sight so i can concentrate on my driving rather than looking at the camera and stuff so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna install this camera just right here so i'm gonna Put the suction cup right there and install it just right there okay so let's install the camera first so I can show you guys better as well so there you go this is the suction mount and this is the housing it's gonna go to so let's install this and there you go now it's firmly in and I've installed the SD card as well now before I install it, let's find out in the manual what is this port right here. I mean, I can't understand this icon right here. I can understand this is AV out, but what is the other port? So let's find out. And guys, I want to mention one more thing. If this is AV output so like let's say whatever you have recorded on the camera if this is the AV output I mean I can't find the cable provided with it so hopefully let's let's look at the manual right here okay all right so this port right here is to connect a GPS module right here as you can see external GPS module there isn't much in the manual it's just the specification few diagrams and stuff and uh, how to enable video recording emergency recording snapshots and all that all right so now I have mounted the camera with the suction cup now just gonna mount it there behind the rear view mirror okay right here okay 
Let's go a little bit up. Okay. For this demonstration, guys, because I need to touch the camera as well, so I'm gonna install it a little bit down, like just right here, so I can see the camera screen. Again, it's all right there because it's out of uh, my line of sight while I'm driving. Okay, so now let's just connect the cable to it. So guys, uh, uh, in order to tuck the wire in, obviously you have to feed the wire from here. But for this demonstration, I'm just gonna directly connect the wire to the camera and uh, they have provided this tool so while you're tucking in the cable you know you can use this tool right here so there you go and let me just start my car <laughs> And uh, let's switch this on. Okay, as I've switched it on, it says select your language. I'm gonna select English, so okay. And date is 2018, month is Jan, and today is basically 29th okay time is 12:15 okay all right so it says 1080p full HD and uh, let's find out what this button is right here oh I, this is this button guys right here the left hand side is the emergency mode so if your car is parked uh, by pressing this I believe you have activated the emergency mode so uh, if somebody is gonna hit your car and the battery is charged or or if you hard wire this with your car battery then the camera is just gonna start recording so I'm gonna switch this off right here let's go to settings and uh, let's select resolution so 1080 full HD okay this is the one I want but what are the other options 720 60 P 720 I believe this is 30 P and VG and stuff anyways so uh, 1080 full HD let me see is it 30 frames per second at 1080 or uh, 60 frames per second it's actually not mentioned on the box let's see in the manual I'm gonna find out in the manual guys whether it's uh... okay so this camera guys can only record 1080p at 30 frames per second not 60 frames per second okay so just press ok loop recording yep that's what I want 3 minute 5 minute 10 minute I would do it 10 minutes so basically once it's gonna record 10 minutes video it's gonna loop okay and date and time date stamp yeah I want that okay and record audio it's up to you by default it's off beep sound I'll leave it EV yeah this is the exposure so I'll just leave it to zero zero and frequency 50 Hertz 60 Hertz I'll leave it for 50 Hertz in for UK and speed unit miles per hour 
accelerometer okay I'll leave this on low sensitivity TV mode pal language English screensaver off motion detection by default it's off I'm gonna switch it on time-lapse record we don't need that we don't need time lapse and format so that's for formatting the card so what I'm gonna do guys now I'm just gonna drive a little bit and uh, I'll leave the footage as I said uh, the build quality is all right uh, with this camera for this price point it all depends how good the lens is and how it captures uh, so uh, it's a cloudy day here in London today and uh, this is the best test uh, I mean I've left the exposure on zero zero so I'm not touching the exposure settings at all so let's look at the footage all right guys so I'll leave the footage and uh, uh, I want to mention one more thing guys like uh, uh, BC master has given me few 50% codes uh, for the subscribers so the way I'm gonna do it is uh, if uh, whoever is gonna like the video first and leave a comment first I would send that person the code so all they have to do is email me and then I'll forward the code to them so uh, if you're interested in purchasing this uh, dash cam then you would get 50% off okay so I'll leave the footage now <laughs> 